Now, I know what you're expecting. Where is Estevan anyway? Well, Estevan isn't here because he can't speak Japanese. So, Craig is going to be translating and I'll be answering all the questions. Wow, it's been a long time since I asked Craig questions. Ah, it's a bit nostalgic. But anyway, let's introduce our guest. Who is contestant number seven? え、そうだ。ごめんごめん。Craig, <laughs> who's this girl? This is Kier Summer, a legendary warrior from Alzora City. You brought in a snake bent on destruction, a literal bullworm, and Hatsune Miku herself. There's gotta be something really crazy about her. I think she's supposed to be like ADHD coded. Something, I don't know, she's just really hyperactive, I guess. But if you know her anime, she's Kira Summer, the leader of the Kiras from Tropical Rouge. Uh, what's a Kira? You know Sailor Moon? Yeah, a bunch of girls fighting in evil and dealing with schoolwork at the same time. You got it. But the pre Kira show tends to change the characters and settings every season. It's kind of like Doctor Who's regeneration. Wait, no. No, 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 that's actually a really bad way to say it. But, uh, yeah, the season changes from doing, like, little baton passes. So the character, the main protagonist who has their show, and they pass it on to a new series character. So these, uh, cures, did they, like, interact with other past previous cures or something? Sometimes they interact with other previous warriors, but, yeah. A cure is a legendary title for a group of heroes. Normally, Japanese middle school girls that transform into legendary warriors. Kind of like Sailor Moon, I guess. Are you sure it's just a bunch of Japanese middle schoolers? Nope. The last season featured a guy, a legal adult, and a little baby. Kind of a very diverse team, if you ask me. But then again, other cures have been either redeemed villains, androids, mermaids, other world people, teddy bears for a short time, cats, aliens, cat aliens, and one dark-skinned Hispanic person. Yeah, I think that's all the stands-up from the usual bunch. Oh yeah, and the latest season features a dog. That turns into a human. Sounds like a spoiler. Oh no, they're really upfront about it this season. Well, now that I know what a pre-cure is, why is she here? She will be representing shoujo content. Like Precure, Sailor Moon, Tokyo Mew Mew content. You know, all things magical Sentai related. Instant round one loser. <gasps> Logan Stripenheimer Bopskin. How dare you? You'll never know. Some of our subscribers would like this type of content. A bit left field of a series, but welcome if she wins. Nani? Atashi no shitsuma wa? Oh, yeah, uh... あ、キアサマ、なんで君はここの一人にいるのそうね。ローラは人形の用事があるし、サンゴの母さんの仕事を手伝ってるし、あつか先輩ずっとテニスしてるし、みのりは家で物語を書いてる。そのためは来るのは
Well, you kind of have to watch them in a certain way. Sorry. With the exception of Futariwa and Yes 5 Gogo, everything else is like completely one series, so you can watch them all in order. But there are later series know, down the line where everything is just straight up one story. By the way, did you know that Kira Summer's voice actress is the same as Jolene Cujo? No way! Yup, that's why if she wins, she also gets to, uh, bring JoJo stuff. Then again, it's technically, I have to make JoJo stuff. You know, it's funny that you managed to meet two voice actors for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, that's, uh, very interesting. Speaking of interesting, uh, uh, Kyo-sama, ano... Huh? Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Sleeping on the interview, huh? Oi, Manatsu! Manatsu, okiro! Oi, okiro! Oh, 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 ow, my arm! She bit my arm! Well, her first opponent is Small Froppy. You know, round one match seven. But because she's asleep, I don't know how she feels about her anyways. Well, Manatsu and Froppy were actually playing together, um... What was it? I think it was like Mario Party 9 Boss Rush? They actually did pretty well. But, uh, Waluigi managed to beat the two, so... At least he had fun. They don't seem to have any negative impacts or relations, so this is going to be a very, very friendly match. If excuse me, I need to go to the hospital. Oh, oh boy. Well, um, tune in next time, darlings, for the next interview with our next challenger. Until then, stay tropical! Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and uh, get an Uber. So pretty, so cure, but most of all, so tropical! Manatsu Natsu! <coughs> <coughs> I mean, Cure Summer, all by herself, is given the mission to spread the joy of motivation! Wait, does she really do that? I don't know, I never watched the show. I don't have a Crunchyroll subscription. Wait, what do you mean, you don't know her? Well, luckily for you, if you give her the chance and let her achieve her victory, like she does beating monsters on the usual weekdays, she will give you, Kanto relating to the series she heals from, the Pre-Cure series. The stuff that will be in Pre-Cure will be stuff in general, like the series, and several memes. Along with magical be shoujo manga and anime content like Sailor Moon, Ojamajo Doremi, Card Catcher Sakura, and Tokyo Mew Mew. But we're mostly focusing on the precure stuff rather than the others as mentioned, but we will focus on them as well. And finally, videos and memes relating to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Ultra Jump, and Seinen anime and manga. She gets Jojo instead of Small Froppy because her little voice actress is the same as Jolene Cujo. I'm not kidding. Look it up afterwards. <laughs>